Welcome back to Streamline uh, Entertainment. Um, it's your boy Marvin, and we're going to be discussing the Manchester United Man City Cup final, uh, which is going to be happening on Saturday. Um, I'm really looking forward to it at Manchester Derby uh, to look forward to this weekend. Just going to look at some injury news for Manchester United. Uh, Lissandra Martinez. Looks like he's going to be out, still out. Um, Sabitza, Donny van der Beek. And the latest news we've got, the Daily Mail, and I was listening to Talk Sport this morning, they said anti martial house injury won't be playing in the cup final. What a shame, because like I said, he's such a big player uh, for Manchester United. And at his best, he can be a match winner. But he seems to be injury prone, and I, I, I sometimes think uh, uh, Manchester United sooner rather than later are going to cut ties with him because he's injured so much and they're paying him a whack as well. Uh, when he is fit, he is a superb player and a great striker. But can she be an assess for Man City, Jack Grealish, uh, Ruben Diaz, and also Kevin De Bruyne? But I, yeah, I think that could be. Uh, uh, to, just to get Manchester United uh, thinking, uh, are these players uh, not fit enough to start? Uh, but like I said, a bit of gamesmanship there. But I think uh, Grealish, Diaz, De Bruyne and Akanji, I think they all start. I think they're all superb players. Uh, but that's the, the injury news that I've got. How do I think the match will go? I'm going to start with Man City. I think um, the players they've got uh, and they're playing football at this at this world is unbelievable. They've got so many players on form. The Carl Walker, his pace. You saw that against um, Vinicius Junior. What a superb, superb defender. I, I rate him highly. And he's, he's 33 now, but he's still one of the best defenders around. Kevin De Bruyne, one of the best midfielders in the world. Short passing, long passing, shooting, crossing, he's got it all. Another one to watch out for. Um, John Stones played a couple, played, you know, quite a few games um, lately. Great defender, aerially strong, uh, great passing range as well, and he's tenacious. Um, um, and I think he's, he's, he's coming to his best. He's 29 now. Um, I always thought he, John Stones was younger, but he's been around. Uh, he's been around quite a long time now. Um, Rian Mares, um, 32, another great player, midfield, one to watch out for. Uh, Jack Grealish, got to talk about this kid. Unbelievable skills, unbelievable. Um, great vision, great strength as well when he receives the ball. He gets fouled a hell of a lot. And he's got a terrific shot on him at the end of the day and, and, and can come in sometimes from that blind side and um, get him to shoot, a, a, you know, a full goal or, you know, a cross for someone else. Great player in getting into the box, Jack Grealish. I think he's going to be a problem if he starts this match. Ruben Diaz, great defender, reads the game very, very well. Bernardo Silva, um, great footballing brain. Uh, could you know could also be dangerous at the end of the day because he, he could break the lines. Uh, Emmanuel Lacanji, I thought he's got better. Uh, basically, with starting matches, he's very very strong, physical, and um, incredible. Great player. Erling Haaland, unbelievable. Twenty two years of age and he's banged in thirty six Premier League goals. This this player is absolutely phenomenal. You feed him, he's gonna score. When I look at this Manchester City side, I think, you know, oh my God, they, you know, they can dominate um, for quite a long time. Julian Alvarez, um, another super player, young player as well, Argentinian player, striker. And like I said, he's also going to come, come good. You've got players like Enrico Lewis. Um, the form they're in at the moment is scary at the end of the day because I don't see them losing many matches. Let's go to the man, some of the Manchester United players. Uh, I'll tell you who is going to be dangerous is Anthony. If they can get this guy into the game, 
um, running down the wing or running into central positions. He can score, he can cut in the score. He's proved it time and time and time again. But he needs to be at his best. And they need to feed him early because um, he's, he, he's dangerous. Very, very dangerous and skillful. And can cause havoc. Marcus Rashford, we need him running. He's confident in taking shots on. At the end of the day, he's going to have a big onus on him. A very big onus if Manchester United are going to win this game. Uh, Casemiro, we need him at his tenacious best. He's got to watch uh, basically late tackles and an early booking. But um, Casemiro, I do like his aggressive midfield um, style. It's very, very old school. But um, against City, he will, will have to be careful and at his best. Ganacho, another youngster to um, watch out for. He may come in when legs are getting tired on the City side of things. Um, I think he's dangerous, he's direct running and he can shoot. Very, very dangerous forward. A big, big game for Bruno Fernandes. His passing ability, shooting. But the, the only thing with Fernandes I worry about is if City are winning and sometimes he can lose his head a bit and uh, not always show the fight and, and, and fire he should um, in leading Manchester City in that midfield. I do think he's a superb player and I do think if Manchester United are going to win this match or, 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 you know, or you know, he needs to be at his best and because like I said he can pop up with goals from anywhere but he, I, I like to see him dominate matches um, a little bit more because he has got that in his locker. Uh, Lissandra Martinez is out, uh, he's out injured. David De Gea, this is one of the biggest matches uh, technically, uh, basically he's going to have to be at his superb best to keep City out. And he's one of the key reasons why Manchester, Manchester United could win this FA Cup at the end of the day because like I said he's a superb shot stopper but again he's gonna have to be at his best. Christian Eriksen uh, whether he starts or not I don't think this is a Christian Eriksen that was at Spurs but like I said he does keep Spurs uh, Manchester United ticking over magnificently I must admit it, um, they have missed him when he hasn't been there because he just gives them a little bit more creativity and starts off attacks at the you know that back of that diamond um, Raphael Varane, a great defender, um, he's going to need to be at his best to stop the Manchester City um, strike force and uh, basically be first of the ball. Luke Shaw, tremendous player, I think he's had one of the, the best seasons in the Manchester United um, shirt. A lot's going to depend on him crossing and getting into attacking positions. Fred, um, another great midfielder um I, I i'm not sure sometimes he's not always given the plaudits the positions he gets in uh at the end of the day but he loves to get um stuck in Juan Pesaka, um great pace um he'll possibly start um because like i said his recovery place is phenomenal and he's very very tenacious and he's great running with the ball as well still young as well but like I said, it's going to be a tremendous, tremendous final. I just think it'll go late. It'll probably go into extra time. But I do think Man City will win this FA Cup final just. I don't think Man United are going to um, lie down whatsoever. But I'm going to go for um, Manchester City 2-1. I think it'll be close. Um, I do think the first goal... Is, is, is it will have a lot to do. If it's Manchester United who score this first goal, I think we're, we're in for a hell of a, um, a cup final. Um, it could go either way, but I just think the way that City are playing, with the players they've got, and, uh, you know, you, 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 you Grealish is, who are in superb form, the amount of goals they score, the amount of goals they score at crucial times. Um, I just think they defensively better uh, set up than Manchester United. Yet yeah, Manchester United, if it, if it comes to scoring more than one goal, I think City are the team to do that. And I'm going for them 2-1. Let me know what you think and don't forget to subscribe to Streamline uh, Entertainment. And uh, love to hear from you.